So welcome back to the Money Posture host Elijah back here in action. And in today's video, I will be sharing some mistakes to avoid for investors in the cryptocurrency market. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay. Also, I need to put this disclaimer out there that I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion on finances based off of research as well as life lessons. You do with this information as you please. So the mistakes I'm going to be talking about in this video are not all the mistakes that I've seen people making. Um, ones that I have experienced myself and had to learn from, but these are the main ones that I'm going to just the first ones that I'm gonna be talking about. I, will, I do plan to do a another video similar to this one on mistakes just to avoid with in regards to crypto investing. So stay tuned for that, but let's get into these main mistakes that I see being made. Big main mistakes that I see a lot of uh, individuals making is not choosing the correct crypto exchange to invest on. What I mean by this is not understanding what the crypto exchange has to offer. And I look at that in two main uh, in two main areas. I look at it in the fees that the crypto exchange is going to be charging me. And I look at the security factors that the crypto exchange has. With these has. exchange fees, it is extremely important to understand the exchange fees that the crypto exchange is going to be charging its customers. Now, different types of fees can apply to different types of customers um, for these exchanges, but understand, you know, the types of fees that you may um, be susceptible to the most um, regarding the type of trading that you're doing on these exchanges. The three main types of the uh, fees are, you know, the trading fees, which is basically just trading crypto into fiat or fiat back into crypto. Um, and then you've got the deposit withdrawal fees most exchanges have those and then you also have you know fees for whether you're buying on margin um which is like basically borrowing um borrowing money for for those purchases of crypto be mindful of the types of uh, exchange fees that the exchange that you're using charges and make sure that it is aligned with your goals for your crypto investing. So the next big thing in regards to these exchanges is their security. Crypto is really in its in its early stages um, and we're kind of in the wild, wild west. We don't even have regulations for crypto yet, but security is vital uh, for your investment. And if the, the crypto uh, exchange that you're using does not have secure measures in place, you may lose out on your coins. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later in the video, but security is so important for these exchanges. I mean, we see here that BitMart, they just got hacked and they're having to pay their, um, the victims of this hacking almost up to $200 million. Um, but make sure that the exchanges that you're looking into are secure. And when I say they are secure, look into whether they use two-factor authentication um, for you know when transactions are being um, when they're occurring, make sure that these crypto ex current these crypto exchanges have insurance in place potentially, um, so that if you know your crypto is lost or stolen, um, they insure it. Similar to how the FDIC insures uh, banks and fi other financial institutions. Also, look at. Um, bug bounty programs um, that crypto exchanges offer. This is just a program that where they they offer uh, money compensation for figuring out where their systems are vulnerable. And these are, you know, ethical ethical hackers are, are using their skills to find out if there are any bugs in, you know, say um, an exchange's infrastructure. I'll drop a link to this article that I'm reading um, here below that gives us the top four most secure crypto exchanges that go the extra mile. Um, and they're listed here. You know, we got Gemini, Robinhood, Coinbase, and Crypto.com. Like I said, the link is below in the description. Go check out the article and read it in its entirety. Um, 
but these are some of the bigger exchanges and they really care about their, their security, which is important. If you're liking this video so far, go ahead and please drop me a like on this video. And um, have you ever made any mistakes, you know, in relation to crypto investing? Go ahead and drop some comments below. Let me know. Um, really do appreciate all sorts of engagement that I see a lot of um, crypto investors making is storing their cryptocurrencies on the exchange themselves and not taking them off. This is a huge issue uh, because... Although the exchanges have security measures in place, it's really, you know, it's up to you to secure your investment. Like I said, we see this huge payout that BitMart has to provide to its victims of this hacking. Um, and I don't, I don't want for, you know, anyone watching this video to fall victim to a hacking. So take your coins off of an exchange. I encourage you to go and get a wallet, whether it's a hot or cold wallet, it doesn't matter as long as it's secure, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Um, they both have pros and cons to them. And I will do a video on hot and cold storage um, here in the future, but make sure that you have a wallet so that you can secure your investment. And another thing with storing your money on exchanges, these exchanges, um, they're typically, you know, you can interact with them on an app or on a website, but they are susceptible to having blackouts. And when there's a blackout, that means that you just don't have any access to your coins. So you really can't, you can't move them anywhere. You can't take them out. You can't withdraw. You can't deposit. You cannot do anything. So to, you know, just be able to decrease the likelihood that you're not able to access your own coins. Again, I suggest getting a wallet to secure your investment. So these were just some common mistakes that I've been hearing of um, that a lot of crypto investors are, are challenged with when they are first getting into crypto investing. And, you know, I've done my research on the exchanges that I want to use and I do have a wallet just for extra security. So do your research, especially if you're looking to get into crypto investing. Now, there are so many more mistakes that I've heard of in, in an experience, I think one of the biggest ones is uh, FOMO, buying and selling, and I will talk about that. Like I said, I do plan to do another video on um, mistakes that you know crypto investors make, especially the beginners. Um, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for tuning into this quick little video on mistakes to avoid uh, for with investing in crypto. Hope that you're able to find the informational um, and can apply it to your investing. If you like the video, please like the video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel and check out some of my other content, I really do appreciate all sorts of engagement with the channel. But like, dislike, share, subscribe, do what you do, but I appreciate you. Until next video, stay blessed, stay healthy, stay prayed up. Peace.